the star studded lineup. The star studded. But we do still have device over here towards the back of sandbag. Zipax through the smoke denies Chris to. And now device is going to start revealing himself. He's able to get one, now two, potentially a third, until Gade's able to answer with something. But with that first kill from Gade, he finds himself in a one versus five situation. So North, yeesh, it's going to be a tough spot. They uh, they kind of dismantled their opponent yesterday here on Vertigo. It looked really good for them, but I think Pimp has a lot of good points when he's arguing that Astralis have always been strong on Vertigo. They kind of adopted it and made sure to plug that hole early. When so Matt is going to try to catch the lurks. The meta still hasn't changed much at A. They changed the material, but it's all about this fight. Up the ramp versus smokes, hopping over Sandbex, trying to get and B by itself. And A is like all on its own. So it's got two different factions now working together to defend. A kind of a nice bait setup to get some extra damage in. Most importantly, to get some info, a nade off and fall back. Oh, another little re-engagement here for Debris. So making sure that he doesn't just give them all of that real estate, keeping those forward angles. It's been uh, a real pleasure watching this B bomb site develop as time goes on, but at this moment, not looking too easy to get into. Yugi is going to finish this one. And with 30 seconds left, and this utility being volleyed over, they're ready for the hit. So they're looking to bunker and hunker down another piece of utility, but the Molotov gets extinguished in the smoke, and that leads them to walk right into Zipex. He's only going to find the first kill. We've got a boost oh. on ET to get vision over smoke. It works fantastically for the first. Now they're going to try to jump up over it as well. MSL, he shut down, and it's a three versus two in the post plant. So at least North have gotten this bomb down. CTs peek out on short because of that flash. They're starting to wrap. They're gonna get this pinch and Dupree isolating the 1v1s makes it look all too easy. Now there is the pressure of the defuse. Yugi calculates it and they will happily take a five versus four. They completely transition over to this B bomb site. So now Dupree is gonna feel the heat. He's spammed through smoke. Chris do six cents as he drops that one and goes one better. Hard entries, clean headshots and a five versus two on B in there. And Chris Dew is a player who uh, I haven't been impressed by. You know, this is a game where we like to see people shoot each other in the back of the head, but there's a moment where the, the mechanics don't meet with the tactics and tactics are perfect. And then Device ends up killing MSL as well. At least there's a kill from the grave, but it's still 4v3. Yeah, MSL from beyond able to burn one. Now we do still have three players for Astralis here on the A site, so we're ready for the hit. Again, Zipex is going to play the same angle on this smoke. That's one of his own smokes, right? Gives him a huge advantage when he can see the kneecaps of the players coming up. It's Cajun who has a further back angle that enables the trade, but now he's in a one versus four. Not ideal, although he steals away the first one. And remember, Magis, two health. So a couple of headshots could have got the job done for setup, but again, he will try to pry his eyes over smoke. Yugi, with that secondary AWP, is at the top of mid, and he peels one off. We have seen near no mid play up until this point. But uh, 30 seconds left over, two versus five, desperate for some sort of an opening. Completely separate are the members of North, but Cajun's still successful. Now, we saw that head. Yugi's been seen here by Christu who is the bomb carrier. So as much as Cajun B can be successful over on the A site, it really hinges on Christu, and he has now equalized this. 15 seconds left. If they're going to make the play happen, if they're going to try and play for this win, they've got to do it now. But oh. Device even giving them another chance. Eight, if seven. only the plant. <gasps> oh, oh he my nailed God. It. He's yeah. got it. And Debris going to oh. wait and just listen. Yeah, he might actually... Nelly Furtado. I, and I think even if Device hits his shot... There's a chance the plant can go down. One player got caught immediately, and then that still ended up having them win the round. So we can see the immense value from trying to take mid control for them, oh. even if it's predictable, and even if it doesn't go so well at first. Off of the crane and a little bit of wall bang to try and hold back the A players. This time, Device has had enough. He tries to change pace, shoves that op down their throats, and suddenly, it's going to take North over towards this B bomb site. Now, Yugi has a passive angle, but he is fully blind, as was Chris Dew, So that definitely helps. Cuts off the head of the snake and now looks to deal with the wiggling body that was the last two players. Yugi, solid hold, solid start. Young player, big job. 
Uh-oh, over towards middle. We get Cajun. Oh, of course he does. Magisk. Oh, man, it's all cut down. Even Dupree over towards B. Shut out north. They found zero footing until now. Gave it a little something to work. He's got two more players to present himself, and that's that. The most guaranteed to at least get a single kill. Oh, but Magisk, did he push up? Yeah, he came back around. Ooh, and MSL looking to do one better there. He actually creates a great distraction for Gaiden AZ to combine on site. Look at that wall of smoke. CTs were kind of caught between it, and then losing short meant they had to plug a hole. Ooh, that seems to the manholes in the street because I'm not falling into the sewers. <laughs> the last not place, the place I want to be. be. Oh, maybe he has other ideas. He's still dodging flashbangs in the midst of it all, smoke denying any kind of vision, and he is very much alone here, so a dangerous game to play, but oh my God. regardless, swapping to the M4, let's go. Shut a up. All trades. He stops that bomb, and he knows he has another target here. Chris Freaking dude, top cruise, dude. Device perched up. Shot Ooh. in. And Magis with a second. They know that MSL is still here. He tries to go over, and this time it works. Last time he was denied that shenanigan. Love that he tries it again, and it works. Chris is going to give cover so that MSL can get out of position once the bomb goes down, and we have ourselves from the 2v3 to the 2v2. Oh, he's dropping the Molotov early. Whoa, and MSL goes for a peek. Thinks that maybe he would find Yugi moving his feet, trying to get away from the flames, but that's not the case. Chris, dude, he's going to get close on this. Again, it's just going to take a couple of kills if he wants to finish the clutch. He's inside of the smoke. They're going to have to go around it. He knows they're tapping that bomb, trying to get him to make his move. He got down the first one, but it's a oh. stick. A disgusting stick that Yugi gets away with. Chris, dude, survives the round. Either way, fast control here. Room. Take it. Yeah, there was. Oh. Device tries something very different this round. Goes peering into the depths of B and dies for it. Zipex, he's trying to, whoa, trying to, no, succeeding at, yes, holding this A site <laughs> to just fly through this B bomb site. Man's running with a bottle in his hand. Gonna crack it over the top of Dupree, perhaps, but nope, he is turned back the other way. So Cajun, they're gonna have to group up and try to find the timing, but at the same time, they don't want to get sprayed down by the same shots. So Cajun now a little bit flustered here. He's dodging the utility. He sees both players Woo! and he hits the nail in the coffin. So expects that they would go for such a tricky play. And there's the follow-up nade. That one lands. You can see how deadly it really could have been. Look at Dupree here. He's the insurance policy. Cajun's not going to check this corner. So now that flank has been dealt with. Everybody on the bomb site for Astralis can set their eyes forward. And they're all on the same page. Bomb already halfway gone. Ooh, and it's going to get difficult to ex exit the elevator. Another couple of kills coming in. This is just a frag fest for Astralis. Way too easy. No response back for North at all. Beautiful people that you'll ever meet inside and out. Device? Uh, yeah, all right. Pause comes to a close. Man doesn't let go of W. Runs all the way into the depths of the B site, and that creates so much space and gets so much information that Dupree can confidently come around the corners. Look, Astralis aren't even ready for such a pace. They have to go back and get that bomb, and all the while still maintaining this B bomb site. Sure enough, somebody tries to jump over top. That's AZ, who has managed a second. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This was not supposed to happen. A three versus four turned even keel, and here comes Yugi with a cheeky mid flank. Again, mid hasn't really been an issue for either team. The T's tend to avoid it, but look at Kreisu confidently just running into the mix. It could make sense, and it has been a lot of slow mid, so maybe a nice conditional read. Oh, minimal cover here to try and play with inside of the B bomb site. So AZ removed first and foremost. They have spotted a player on that construction boost over, but look at Gade, ready to go inside of the bomb site. He's got his back covered by Cajun. Dupree starting to remove other players, but he dies too inside of the site. So the flank is all that remains. We saw Cajun close the first half with a 1v2 clutch, trying to take shots at the first. That's Magisk pinned down behind Orange. I was talking about how Quad becomes such a limited position, and you can see that with Dupree. He has no cover, but still swings wide. Who am I to say? 3v5 north? Maybe. Perhaps. There's a chance.
Cajun's able to close down that first duel, and Dupree was on his own, so there's a little bit of timing for Cajun, but he is stuck, nowhere to go, and losing teammates. He's naded, of all things. Gade with everything to do here. Map one, very much on the line, and he's denied any... ...part of the team, which is kind of what they want out of him more than anything else. And I think if, if he's in that comfort zone, I feel very confident in Astralis. All right, good to know. Well, talking of confidence, look at North in this pistol on the CT side. They decide to go parading down middle and they are met by a booby trap. A Yugi trap? Was a, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that bomb's planted in the back. Now, obviously, Device keeping his eyes on the potential for an apartment's flank, but I think once Zipex sees the numbers coming up short, this should confirm to the T's that maybe Device doesn't have to watch it. But I eat my words because one goes back and peeks into boiler, so now they know they're pinched. These counter terrorists on short are, are in a real pickle. But luckily, Cajun's grenade kind of alleviates a little bit of pressure here. Gade whips back round, taps into the head of Device. <gasps> Bombs oh. planted for Zipex, and he gets the diffuser off of it. There is no kit on the play. A 10-second stick. That one frag from Zipex should have, could have, may have been enough. You hold your breath. Oh! oh. oh boxed in i think they avoided what could have been dire straight regardless whoa oh. hold on what Magic. a flash yeah peeks with it goes ahead and topples two players so north with the economic advantage potentially slipping we still got that triple ak set up for astralis they're going to continue to trudge along towards a cajun b what can you do he doesn't see the player over towards library Come on, loses Dupree. his head yeah, and follow-up damage. The Deagle oh, is dirty. AZ nowhere to be found as Astralis. And this might elicit a response in terms of counter utility, but the T's are coming in. Full commitment, full defense. Chris do oh, he had a corner to play with. He still manages the dink. Incredible. Alive is Magist, but barely. Bomb plant on the other side of the smoke. AZ, oh. ambitious on the spam, but now because he's stuck on the reload device, he will take that any day of the week. Just runs right through, finds that timing, and convinces North to walk away here. To see all of these different nuanced variations of executes come over, have a Molotov land at your feet, a Molotov. It's okay. A flashbang piece up here towards the top of middle, but there are a lot of pistols trained forward. That's bomb thrown down for a moment. Another attempt here, and oh boy, Astralis starting to throw away a round versus just the pistol players. We said that the op could win the round, Launders. You forgot about the players in the site. They know there's two. They, they gotta know. Yep. Simple crossfires here. One in the pit. He smoked out and flashed as well. Chance there. Moment. Zipix gets the trade, and they have identified the second player in pit. Yeah, they really want to get that pit player out of here. Gade, he has to just kind of tuck into the depths of the corner. He's calling for the rotation to come in as quick as can be. Dupree trying to look forward, but he gets popped by MSL. Now the off comes into the equation. Zipex on the clutch goes down and North with a robbery. You waited mid. He can actually even come out for this kill. That's beautiful. Nice. And 3B, Astralis know exactly what the rotates have, have, uh, have come. And they're worried now, but are kind of have their hands forced. forced. Yep, they're going to have to try and trudge through this. They're met with a little bit of counter utility. Chris Du takes the high ground on the boost. Now the coffin peak from Cajun B. Bomb down, follow up damage. Excellently done there from MSL. Calling the shots and making that play happen. He is excavating. Was able to stop Dupree. This puts everything to a, to a hold right now. Magical now try to make up ground. Fails the entry as Cajun covers him perfectly. Yeah, they're charging into this head strong, trying to spam the walls in the wild. Gade in pit, can't get that second hit. Zipex, 19 health at the end of this one. <gasps> wow, he follows through the smoke and through the edge of the wall. That finally creates the space for Yugi, who had been so desperate to get that kill on site. Zipex tries he might, has such little health to work with that North survive with two. Go through CT as easily anymore because they're terrified that someone's staying to lurk. Looking for that, ooh, oh. that absolute rock solid info that the second player is on B. MSL is going to creep back into the angle. Yugi playing a dangerous game right now, but the smoke denies his route. He was thinking maybe he could fall back into construction. Now he's going to oh. need these crisp AK headshots, and he starts off with the first one. Hit the second. MSL's low. New oh, Jersey. Yugi. Seven rounds for Astralis. The main actor is gone. 
smoke, little flash, little push. Oh, the double, the double oranges. Careful. Careful. No one's checking this. AZ. <gasps> Plays three. Nope. Just the second. Dupree able to get his gun back into control. This is going to be costly, perhaps, for Astralis. They've lost that man advantage. They were looking good in the post plant, looking good for the post plant, I should say. And now it's on Zipex and Dupree, but they've cut down the numbers two to the two. MSL again with that op coming in from Banana Side. So Yugi pulled it off last round. This time it's up to Dupree. He is committed on the back of Dark all the way in the depths. He welcomes North to get their feet onto the bomb site. He hears them moving forward. He's been confirmed. MSL throws himself into the stream of gunfire. Needed at the B site in specific. So Strahl's had a great time entering on this part of the map. Oh, okay. Oh. Rec9 knocks down. Oh. Hi. Oh my God. Uh, nice to meet you. See you never. Poor Magis. Pulling one out of nowhere. Yugi follows suit, and just like that, another round. I mean, Glaze probably somewhere watching this, shaking his head, going, oh, I wish that didn't work. <laughs> MSL gets a little excited, but. It's over towards the A site that this bomb is actually gonna go. Device, he was the solo commitment at B. Dupree can't manage over on Balk. So there is an opening here for North to try and lock it down. He gets into the pit and he calls for reinforcements. North, they sprint over through their spawn, but Zipex has him gone. So it's entirely on the retake now for North. They have a single smoke, a single flash, but deep pit fix control for Yugi and a chance to move for Zipex. They're both gonna go into pit. Oh, they're going to start spamming some shots through the smoke, looking to deal that damage. Oh. They know that North can get close. North actually starting to get footing on the bomb site. They're clamoring over the boxes, and it's not prevailing so far. Two kills back for Astralis, and a clutch attempt for Cajun. Can't hit the Deeg. 10-5. That is as skewed as can be, folks, but uh, understandably so. I mean, a uh, hell of a half on the T side for Astralis. 10-5 the advantage, and I would be shocked if they don't let off the gas pedal here. We saw it kind of happen on Vertigo once they had momentum and history tends to repeat itself. Perhaps. Dupree? Oh, tapped. super Another. clean, Mr. Clean with hair. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, wow. man. Yeah, I Get can't. Get Clorox. You're in <laughs> <laughs> Just don't drink it. Magic erase. Ooh, another one. I just love pistol rounds because we get these one tap headshots. I know, right? You know, why buy? Why do people buy body armor now? And, and how you know we have more gun rounds, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But uh, you know, are we going to change to MR12? Who knows what happens? But one thing I never want to lose. I'm going to stave it off for the moment. We saw that quick rotate from Magisk, and he's still flirting around CT spawn. So oh, we Zipex decides to fall off of the boost, bams the smoke, and so far so good because Yugi gets into the mix, but he can't hang on to. The sheer numbers of North pile driving through those smokes off of the flash. Zipex goes. Magisk's able oh, to get one as well. Yeah, the bomb still planted. Oh, it was after. Sorry, yeah. Chris Dew lurking around through Arch. Oh, Dupree stampeding through spawn. Gives himself up. Now, Chris Dew's going to come around, fumbles around with the guns. But, oh boy, if he dies, then that gives a chance for the retake if he hadn't dink device down to just 11. Oh, this is a totally one round here for Astralis, like not not bad at all. Like um, I did the interview with, actually Whoa. put that to a pause. Trade train up mid, Magus looking oh. to stop it, does so much damage with the HE as well as the spray down and Dupree will he pick up the pieces. Well, he's trying to do that damage. He's got those players both wrapping and peeking up in oh, front oh, zip. Oh, what? Oh, oh, oh. What? Yo! Still unfavored situation here for North, but they've got enough nades at least for A. Dupree is going to stay tucked in the hidey hole. He pops up with Magus, both of which taking duels. Ah, oh, poor Chris, dude. He's plucked from the skies. Everybody seems to have died. Gade can't find any further footing. Astralis on 15. Well, it's a good analogy for just what has been this series. Stuck at the door frame, struggling to get one foot through. Cajun B will attempt his best. Charging at the smoke, swapping weapons. He's kind of lost inside of it. And Zipex, he can smell them. Breathing down their necks. Trying to get this AK to connect. But he has to wait because bombs has been planted. It's still the 4v3. 
He's toying around the corners of construction. He's going to get rushed. I like the initiative here from North, trying to go on the offensive here, trying to keep the CTs uncomfortable in their retake attempt, but they throw forward their flash. MSL, 100 health. The last player with such HP comes swinging out from pit. He takes down two, just needs the last for the 1v3 clutch. He's going to tap that bomb. Magisk, he's in the process of sticking it, Ooh. and he is peeled away. Very loud. Booming voices, booming M4. Shots lined up here on mid. Hello, device. Long time no see, my friend. Three kills, going for the fourth. Looking to replicate what was that highlight reel moment on Vertigo, but it seems like Dupree could be the final hit. Seven seconds remaining here for Cajun. He's just gonna go ahead and plant that bomb. He has to. The three CTs all come crunching down upon him and the pressure is...